Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5. Starting at number 5. Epos H6 Pro. Epos is gradually shifting away from its Sennheiser past and beginning to collect its own lineup of great gaming headsets. The H6 Pro is a big part of that, as the company's first go at a true flagship product without Sennheiser stamp all over it. The H6 Pro offers a really high-grade headset experience. There are fancy new 42mm drivers to keep them sounding great, which have been tuned to offer a more balanced and easy on the bass profile than your usual gaming headset. It also offers a great sounding microphone that delivers the benefits of both flip to mute and removable designs. I've had experience with both open back and closed back designs and, essentially, if you desire noise isolation you'll want the closed back H6 Pro headset. If that's not important then it's the open back H6 Pro headset that will be the better choice for a superior gaming sound stage. Coming at number 4. Bear Dynamic MMX100. This isn't the first gaming headset from Bear Dynamic, but the MMX100 is absolutely its most rounded offering so far. Offering excellent audio and a good microphone in a comfortable and well-designed headset makes for an easy entry into our best headset list, especially when you can pick these impressively made cans up for under $100. Despite using a closed back design we found the MMX 100s produce a surprisingly wide sound stage, without any of the muddiness or overeager bass that often plagues gaming headsets. The bass is so finely tuned without any distortion or boominess that you typically get on most gaming headsets. On my unit, it had quite a bit of play where it could rock back or forth without changing the volume while causing static in the right ear cup when adjusting volume and oftentimes, completely cutting out the audio on the right side. This is mostly around the max volume position. Minute adjustments of volume would fix the audio, but it's most disturbing for such a well-built headset. At number 3. Razer Kraken X. As a cheap alternative to the tricked-out Razer Kraken, the Kraken X is a budget-friendly option that excels on PC for one simple Riosona Euro, Virtual 7, one surround sound. Available via an app, this elevates the headset's already good audio thanks to superior depth, clarity, and definition. It also makes going back to the X's standard audio mode difficult. In our testing, it's clear the Kraken X isn't going to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of HyperX's cloud range or even with its fellow Razer stablemates, but for the money, the Kraken X delivers the goods. When you've only got $50 to spend on a gaming headset, we don't think you'll do much better than these Razer cans. Immersive, 7. One surround sound for positional audio, outfitted with custom-tuned 40mm drivers, capable of software-enabled surround sound when used for PC gaming only. Designed for all-day comfort, the lightest Kraken headset ever at 250 grams, around 40% lighter than the competition. Number 2 of my list. HyperX Cloud Alpha Wireless. The HyperX Cloud Alpha is perhaps the most praised thing to exist on this site. We all love it on the team and now HyperX has cut the cord on its best pair of cans. The biggest draw card for this headset is the new huge battery. You're looking at up to 300 hours of battery life in wireless mode while still keeping the headset relatively light and comfortable. It's a pretty massive feat and I feel HyperX has pulled it off. That impressive battery life is, of course, a best case scenario. A lot of that has to do with the volume you're running the headset at, and volume is probably my only real complaint. It's absolutely loud enough, but I can listen to it at full volume and still be fairly comfortable. But the sound quality truly is incredible. Music sounds amazing. It's always fun to listen to some of my favorite sound-heavy songs on a good pair of cans and try to pick the different instruments or bytes used. These do an excellent job and are definitely one of the better gaming headsets I've used to listen to music on. And number 1. Razer Blackshark V2. Dethroning the HyperX Cloud Alpha from the top spot was no easy feat. Razer's Blackshark V2 gaming headset manages to do just that by offering killer audio quality, great price, and easy-to-use software. 
From the moment Razer first started talking about the Black Shark V2, it was clear this was main focus of the headset, and the design of the drivers themselves is effectively doing what the impressive Cloud Alphas do. The 50mm Triforce Titanium drivers are designed with discrete ports to separate bass, mid, tremble tones from interfering with each other. The result is a richer sound than a standard set, and keeps it on par with HyperX's 50mm Dual Chamber Neodymium driver headset. There's only one reason I no longer use them as my daily drivers, and that's the arrival of the wireless version, the rather more expensive Black Shark V2 Pro. They use the same drivers, but use a lag-free wireless connection, with a great battery life. But they are pricey, though it has to be said that we've seen deals as low as $130, so it is worth looking at. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.